hello friends welcome to power plant guru channel in today's short video we will learn about gas turbine efficiency some people call it heat rate as well so let us start and quickly cover this topic friends i have 20 years of experience in power plant operation and maintenance and i am a mechanical engineer I used to create short fundamental videos on gas turbine technology and other power plant technologies. So if you want to uh, if you want to connect and learn more on this type of knowledge series you can subscribe my channel. So we'll start gaining some knowledge about gas turbine efficiency and heat rate. so uh, there are various factors where a gas turbine performance uh, may vary so such as ambient temperature inlet and outlet air pressure drops and compressor efficiency humidity altitude there are many factors but the list is very long so we will take only few which are very important and going to impact the gas turbine operation i mean efficiency and output in a big way so here is the one uh, ambient temperature so ambient temperature we know that uh, gas turbine usually take a lot of air for functioning and let's take a case when uh you are having ambient temperature lower than normal so what will happen the density of the air at that particular temperature will be higher if you compare with the temperature which is higher lower temperature would have definitely high density so in same volume you are pushing more quantity of air so as you push more quantity of air you can inject more quantity of fuel as well so in turns you get a higher output so that is the case with ambient temperature higher density of air is the deciding factor next coming to inlet and outlet pressure drop so inlet pressure is the air pressure which is coming to the gas turbine let's say we have a deficiency in sucking air our inlet air filters are clogged so that extra amount of energy will go in sucking the air and that extra amount of energy will go from the total output and then you will have a sufficient reduction in the output and efficiency similarly if you have a high pressure drop in your output this happens when you have a uh, sort of hrsg connected with gas turbine so your there is a restriction increased restriction in the flow of air so that is also going to impact your gas turbine performance so that is where the inlet and outlet air pressure comes in a picture now the most important point is compressor efficiency see these are the point which i am trying to explain where the action is there where you can do something and improve so gas turbine compressor air compressor which is axial uh, uh, flow compressor draws a lot of air from atmosphere and the air comes with some small amount of contaminants so those contaminants try to dodge the inlet air filter filtration mechanism and come along with the air and they form a layer a form a film of dust oils and other aerosol uh, contents and that disturbs the aerofoil shape of the compressor which is designed for the highest efficiency so your inlet air compressor starts developing a phenomena where there is a loss in compressor efficiency so that you can 
uh, that loss you can partly recover by water wash cycle. So water wash cycle, there is two type of water wash cycle, offline and online. So online water wash is the one which you can do with machine on condition. I mean machine is running and then you are doing the water wash. And other offline is water wash is the one when you take the shutdown of the machine and then do, do the detergent cleaning, drying, rinsing and other stuff to gain the efficiency which is lost in compression. So here uh, I am taking a case of how the gas turbine output and efficiency are related to inlet and temperature. This plot I have taken from uh, General Electric website G. There is a GR uh, which you can type G gas turbine performance and there will be a Google list of uh, things available. So you can find this. I have not made this on my own. So various charts and plots are available for reference. So here we'll see in the on the x axis you see the temperature is increasing. The temperature is increasing. And with the increase in temperature, the heat rate, you see the heat rate, the, this red color line, heat rate is increasing. That means the efficiency of the machine is getting reduced. Let's say for, I am taking an example of heat rate, let's say 3000 kilocalorie per kWh is the heat rate. Now, as you increase the temperature, the heat rate will reduce. And on the same line, the output. Let's say your machine was giving 125 megawatt at 16 degrees C. And then you increase the temperature, then your 125 megawatt will decrease. Oh, here there is already some uh, numbers are already given. I'm, I was taking another example. So as you increase the temperature, you will, you will see the decrease in the output capacity also. Yeah, this is the thing which I wanted to explain. You can use similar chart for uh, uh, inlet air filter delta P, the increase in humidity and other things also. So this was a quick info on how gas turbine performance decreases or changes with the other factors. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. You please subscribe my channel if you watch, uh, if you like the content. Thank you. Thank you very much. So friends, we learned how the performance is dependent on other factors. And, and now we'll talk about how we can improve or what we can do. So first one is compressor water wash. So there are two type of water wash uh, things available. One is online and other is offline. So online is uh, the one where there is a DM water spray with the help of control system and their DM water spray will be done in the path of compressor. So there will be fine DM water particle which will uh, carry away the dust or anything which is deposited on the compressor blade. This is uh, uh, I mean a little effective because the water will impinge on only few stages of inlet uh, because it will evaporate in the subsequent stages. So it will act only for a small uh, contribution. And then you will recover small losses. If the losses are high, then you have to go for offline. So offline water wash, you have to shut down the machine and you put it on crank and then spray the DM water. Uh, first wash it and then soak it with detergent filled water and then again rinse it and you can repeat the cycle till you get a clean water in the uh, outlet. So next is a pulsation system for air filter. As we uh, saw that the inlet air filter system uh, I mean uh, is very important for efficiency and heat rate. So there is an online mechanism available in each gas turbine where compressor air, compressor high pressure air is taken and uh, uh, that air is blown from inside out to the air filters. 
and this uh, cycle is repeated for few bunch of uh, air filter at a time so what will happen in that period that from air inside to outside will be blown so that whatever dust is deposited on the outside of the uh, filters that will be dislodged so then you can have a i mean increased uh, filter condition so if your system in your plant is not working the filtration system is not working you can go and check and do the required thing for pulsation system so third one is the fogging in air system the ambient air which is going to impact the performance and output of machine is uh, i mean uh, is the big factor but you cannot do anything for that but at few installation there is a fogging system where is a mist of a, a fine water particle is sprayed in the inlet of uh, gas turbine so to reduce the temperature of air so if you have that system in your plant you can use that so effectively we talked about three things the first is regular washing of your compressor by using offline and online water wash the second one is effective working of your pulsation system which keeps your inlet air filter clean and third one is if you have the fogging system which can help you in reducing the air temperature so these are the handles by which you can optimize your gas turbine efficiency and heat rate thank you if you like the content please subscribe the channel and hit the like button thank you